Hi, I'm Max, and villains are awesome. Well, not as awesome as the heroes, but still pretty awesome. And I'm gonna count my top five greatest villains of 2010. Roll it! <laughs> Number five. Kyber and his pet from Ben Tenno. Yes, I know many people like this film. Um, although I think they're put pretty low on the list because, well, unlike the rest of the villains here, he doesn't want power control. He just wants well to hunt Benton's knife. He uses his pet with an omnitude knife device called an energy to him there. What I like about his pet is he can turn into any alien monster. Animal thing. For example, a carnivorous lizard, a gigantic worm, a gigantic spider, uh, a spider, Soros, Rex, and this, I don't know, gigantic frog, maybe. But look at this, each of these monsters in a, is a predator of all of Ben's aliens, including the new ones. Oh yeah, that's really bad. Kyber and his pet from Benton of Nigros. The dynamic duo of deviousness and hunting. You do well, old friend. But this Ben Tennyson is more powerful than I imagined. And resourceful. He will be our greatest trophy. Kyber the Huntsman promises it. Number four. Oh. Dr. Heinz of Energy from Phoenix and Doofenshmirtz. Ta da! I know he's not that badass and cool as Kyber, but the difference is Kyber doesn't want power, Doofenshmirtz does. Let me explain. Why are they put him next to Kyber? Because, well, he's a pretty lame villain, although he wants power. Also, he wants to take over. Instead of the world, the tri city of which is kind of Also, his plans, well, are pretty, well, dumb. For example, let's see these ones. Now, Perry the Platypus, you will finally understand my pain. King Gimmelstump in the days of my youth. The Doofenshmirtzes were a proud family, but those were lean times for my father, and our beloved Lono was repossessed. Who would protect our Zatzen fruit garden from witches, spells, and wood trolls? From a tender age, my father decided that it would be me. While the other children played kick the stomp on and ate dunko berries, I would stand for hours. All through the cold night, as the Spitzen Hound howled, my only companion was the moon. And my neighbor, Kenny. And since my lawn gnome was taken away from me, I will destroy every lawn gnome in the entire Tri State area! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. He does it by making machines that most of them are called Inator. Oh no. Well, and the wedding nature, for example, the pretty nature, cooking nature, the pizza nature, you name it. Anyway, he does what over the top villains do. Even singing! Dr. Heinz the Freshman, even if he wasn't so dumb and yet so cool at the same time. Number 3 Garrett, Bobby, Ferguson Sr. and Jr. from Regular Show. Well, in this episode, well, in the episode High Score, he held the Universal record of a game named Broken Bones. Also, he's a pretty cool villain, despite 
Let's play. Wish I hadn't seen that. I think I threw up a little in my mouth. <laughs> he also has a big fat life. He told him, well, this story. Please just let me win. Dude, what are you talking about? I've devoted my entire life to broken bones. I've played so much, my wife left me. Oh, Jeez. So you're asking us to throw the game? Please. The universe record is all I have. To reveal this. <laughs> Thank you for being so dumb. What? I didn't devote my life to this cruddy game. It's just a hard. But he loses and this happens. As a response to this, his son. Wait a minute. Son? Anyone remember this scene from High Score? But what about your wife? Pfft, never had one. There are two possible answers. Either he likes his girls or, well, they were produced sexually. Either way, his son wanted to take revenge over Mordecai and Rigby for killing his father. Also, well, he also took over the park and also may brainwash almost everyone also he summoned well let's see almost every villain from the show i'm not kidding look yeah that's right almost every villain oh no bro this is bad Including his father. No way. Get ready for a universe serving of revenge. Father. Son. That's disgusting. Carrot Bobby Ferguson Sr. and Jr. Evil runs in the family. He's got the universe record for best revenge ever. Number two. <laughs> Wayne Chrysalis and this one, My Little Pony. Yes, I know I'm cheating because, well, these are two completely different villains, but let me explain. I had a hard time choosing between which one of them to put in this video, so I decided to put them both because, well, they only have two episodes. But still, they're pretty nasty villains. So let's start with this score. Well, let's see. Here's other Hanukkah's a uh, creature that has the head of a pony and many body parts from many different animals. But that's pretty crazy considering that he's the spirit of disharmony and chaos. Anyway, his main goal is, well, take over the question and also, well, turning the main things into, well, the opposite of her element of harmony. For example, turning Applejack into a liar. Who are you talking to? I was talking to, uh... No pony! No pony whatsoever! Turning Pinkie Pie into a grumpy grumpy pants, you know, like... Mandy from the Green Adventures of Bill and Mandy. What laughter made you happy? Happy? I think so. Turning Rarity into a greedy hoarder that was obsessed with... A diamond which was actually... A humongous rock. Turning Flood Training you know, into another Manicon, except the main side instead of the Gloomy side. Time to be cruel! Arrey the dirt! Oh, boo hoo hoo! Why don't you raise your magic little horn and make everything alright? Uh. Oh, that's right. You can't. You don't have one. Basically, he turned Twilight's friends into the opposite of the elements of harmony, rippers, and. Wandering this maze. Your choice. Basically, he pretty screws up everything. For example, turns day into night randomly, also turns land dirt into soap. Also, well, this is part of his plan, his diabolical plan. This is the new and improved Ponyville, and these are only my first changes. This may look like fun, but it's not. Ugh. Capital of the world. 
I can't picture anything. It's too dark. Well, wait a few minutes and you'll see it in the beautiful light of day. Or not. Now let's go with Breeze. She's a, well, a uh, creature that can change her appearance. Well, she did not do well. Oh, shining a marine to, well, marry him just to, well, you guess it, take over the world. I've ever encountered. My fellow changelings will be able to devour so much of it that we will gain more power than we have ever dreamed of. They'll never get the chance. Shining Armor's protection spell will keep them from ever even reaching us. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Isn't that right, dear? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Don't want to go back to the caves now, do you? The only difference will. She has an army, and I'm kidding, look! <laughs> this girl and Queen Grisal is the meanest villain of the show. Bravo, ponies, bravo! Harmony in Equestria is officially dead. Discord rules, Celestia drools. That's right, Megatron from Transformers Prime. I have returned. Of all the villains, this is in this list, this one is the most scary. His plan is, you guessed it, take over the world. But also, well, he has an element called dark energy. He uses it too. Well, just look. Ride an army of robot zombies. Behold the power of dark energy. Like many Transformers incarnations, Megatron is a Starscream bag. Starscream as a living punching bag, literally. Just look at this. Instead, your mindless agenda resulted in the disabling of my ship and the delay of my plans. <sighs> my intentions were pure, Master. I only wanted you to be rid of Optimus. <sighs> no one rids me of Optimus Prime but me. Do you understand? Do you? <sighs> Lord Megatron, I will make things right. I swear. I know how to set your plans back on course! <laughs> Explain, Starscream. Quickly. Meg. Best 2010 villain of the moment. <laughs> well, well. It seems the blood of Unicron I've been seeking is not out there, but rather right here. Dark energy erupting from the earth. 